Yeah, I got any show for y'all. That's a damn good man right there. Yeah. That's that's, that's future president, eight years right there. Yeah. But uh, he's, he goes on the Joe Rogan uh, Experience, his podcast, and they have a actually a great intellectual conversation about immigration in this country. Yeah. This is the conversation Democrats don't want you to hear. Right. Check this out. Should America accept 100,000 immigrants from Mexico? Okay. Just in the abstract. Well, Mexico is a gigantic country with millions upon millions of people. Who are we talking about? Are we talking about people who speak English as a second language and don't have criminal backgrounds? Or are we talking about people who don't even read and write in Spanish and do have criminal backgrounds? Because those same groups of people, even though they come from the country we call Mexico, right. are going to assimilate and contribute to America's society much differently. There's something in the modern liberal mind that doesn't even allow you to ask the question, who does America benefit from bringing into this country? And if the answer is we don't benefit, then why would we bring them into the country? Well, it's also this the concept of being anti open border somehow or another became attached instead to, of safety. It became a, a, attached to xenophobia. Yes. It became attached to racism. And when, you know, you confront people and say, do you know that Venezuela is literally opening their prisons and instructing people to just cross into America. Yes. Like, no. When you tell, the one yeah. of the wildest ones, I think it was you, we're having a conversation with a woman where you're discussing the gangs in Aurora, Colorado that have <laughs> that taken up. Yeah. And she was like, it's only a couple buildings. <laughs> and what? imagine if that's your community. It's only a couple of apartment complexes, right, with hundreds of people that have been taken over by Venezuelan gangs. I I, I think, Joe, the right number <laughs> is of zero. apartment complexes taken over by Venezuelan gangs is zero. It's in San Antonio, too. It's happening in San it's Antonio. It's happening everywhere. It's so crazy that people don't want to admit to this because if they do, it's empowering the right. Yeah. And they think it's going to help Donald Trump get ele elected. So they're turning a blind eye to dangerous criminals crossing the border yeah. with... But no recourse, no yep. tracking. You can't yep. do anything about well, it. Well, you see this in some communities where, because they're small towns and because rapid migrant influx can happen very quickly where the town population has been doubled. Okay, so you don't even have to assume people are criminals. What does it do to the local public school when all of a sudden a thousand newcomers show up that don't even speak English? Right? What does it do to the hospital system when you now have thousands of people in a small healthcare system that are showing up to get emergency services because they don't have access otherwise to a doctor, and now the American citizens have to wait in line for seven hours to get to see a doctor because we've overwhelmed the local hospital system? What does it do to housing prices? We've seen this in a number of communities, including those that I represent in Ohio. When you bring in thousands upon thousands of people, you cannot build enough houses quickly enough to accommodate that, so the cost of housing becomes unaffordable for American citizens. It is the craziest thing that we've seen in this country that you don't even allow people to talk about the effects of mass migration anymore. Right. And that's why I think it's one of the reasons why Donald Trump is going to be elected president, or at least should be elected president, because he's one of the few guys who's saying, you know what? No, no, no. We're going to talk about this problem. Yes, some immigrants are good. Some immigrants are not good. And that is an obvious insight to anybody who knows human nature. Now, according yeah. to Democrats... They are all great people. Yeah. And we should all be opposite of truth, but the Democrats don't even want to talk about the truth. So long they only want to talk about the truth so long as it when when it benefits them. If it if it if it's a detriment to the Democrat Party, they don't want to even share it. They don't want because they don't, they don't care. care about America. They just care about power. They just care about the tax revenue that's gonna come in from these immigrants. They just care about these people possibly one day is going to vote for them. Yeah. That's remember, all they care about. Yeah, remember during COVID, there was like everybody should get uh, the jab and uh, so we don't overwhelm our hospital system. Right. And he makes a great point. When you mass migration to a small place like up in Ohio, right. it's like the, uh, right. the Haitians took over that city. It puts, it overwhelms the school system, uh, our hospitals. Mm -hmm. It hurts the American citizen. Yeah, it takes up well resources. For, but for they don't want to have that for concept. my elderly, from yeah. the citizens of our country. I mean, look up at what's going on up in Chicago. They closed down all these schools in these black neighborhoods because they didn't have the money for it. Right. But all of a sudden, now they got the money for it to open them back up to house illegal immigrants Yeah, in our country. Yeah. What's well, astonishing, the one fact that they shared is about that lady that was on MSNBC. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's only a couple apartments. <laughs> That's what's crazy. 
you can't even admit someone is wrong. Oh, it's just a couple of problems. Yeah, I That's, mean, that was bound to happen anyway. And they try to re they try to undermine this, the whole situation like it's only two apartments, but this is happening all over the United States. Yeah, um, and then you think about all these tragedies with these women being uh, murdered and raped by these yeah. uh, illegal immigrants, right? And they don't cover it. Yeah. Oh, it's just isolated. And then when you do talk about it, oh look, look what Trump's doing. Look what the Republicans are doing. They're using that woman for political gain. That's like crazy. Your policies is actually getting American citizens unalived. But we can't talk about it because, oh, that makes we're you disingenuous. A, we just want to use it for political gain. Yeah. We're anti-immigrant. We're going to use it to push hate. That's an effective strategy, just painting us as uh, racists and xenophobes. That's why when he jumped all over that comedian and made that... I, I, I'm going to tell you right now, that was a dumb thing to say at the Trump rally. You're right. I don't care how talented you are. You, As a comedian, you should be able to read the room. Yeah. Know where you but, at. Know where you at. But anyway, they took what he said, and they said Trump said it. Yeah. They, they Gaslight Ebbers, no, this is what Trump stands for, even though he denounced it and everything. And, it's like they make yeah. it all about race. Even having a conversation like this, these two men are racist. Joe Rogan right. and Vance is racist. Yeah, but that one comedian's joke was never about the Puerto Rican people. Yeah, They continue to lie even more and say, hey, oh, look how they see Puerto Ricans. No, he was making a joke about their waste management. They said, oh, he called the Puerto Ricans trash. Nobody yeah. ever said that. Yeah, They but, said that island is a floating landfill in the middle of the ocean. The joke was based on a waste management issue in Puerto Rico. Then Biden doubles down and then calls Trump supporters garbage. But they're not willing to see the, the hypocrisy in their own words. Yeah. You're, you're damning a one political party because of that joke. But it's okay when you do it. Yeah, and you're the president of the United States and you do it. Yeah. And the view, they covered for him. Oh, he just misspoke. He, uh, he, didn't, he didn't mean to say it. Yeah. He's been talking down about MAGA supporters. Man, the whole doing four this. years he's been in office. They've been doing it for like the last... They've been doing this ever since Trump started running for office. That's a normal talking point for a Democrat to call the a Republican racist. Mm -hmm. Obama did it to McCain, and they're good friends. Yeah, it was a game. <sighs> but I think America's waking up. Oh, man, I looked at a video today. They was at an HBCU, a historical black college. Oh, man, they got some knuckle draggers on that <laughs> university. Oh, I'm voting for Kamala. You got to be crazy to vote for Trump. <laughs> just straight knuckle dragging, man. I mean, that knuckles is on the floor. That Neanderthal. bloody. Just walking Neanderthal. <laughs> you have that video? No, nah, nah. don't show it. It's going to piss off. It's going to piss off Trump supporters. <laughs> yeah. Man, have a ride in this country. <laughs> How can you be so ob oblivious to what's going on in our country? Yeah. Just go to a, a historical black college. You're talking about Neanderthal. <laughs> Missing links. <laughs> How these people, they don't even think they just, they guess, they guess whatever they see on the mainstream media, they believe. We used to be like that, Kelvin. Yeah, I know. Hold on now. I know, I know. I Hold know. on. We used to be just like that. Now, they 20 years old. What was we doing was in our early 20s? But we were some knuckle draggers. It was back in those days, we didn't have an internet. I didn't have a cell phone. I had a pager. They got all this information at their fingertips, yeah. and they're still Neanderthals. It's no excuse. We had an excuse. Yeah. We, we only had the information that was available us through mainstream media. Yeah. We That's didn't true. have TikTok. We didn't have YouTube. We didn't have Twitter. That's we didn't right. have all these other resources. Yeah. Now, if you're stupid in today's world, it's because you choose to be stupid. No, Because there's no reason in the world why you should be this uh, oblivious to what's going on in our country and all over across the world. You should already know. You got all kinds of... Of resource. You got CNN, you got Fox, you got MSNBC, you got CBS. You need to pick from all these these different outlets, and you need to determine what's right and what's wrong. Hey, let me say this. Four years of Trump, eight years of Vance. Yeah. And Tulsi should be his vice president. We making America great again. Think so? Yeah. What happened to the other brown guy? Ramaswamy. I like him, too. Maybe Ramaswamy, after Vanson had his eight years, <laughs> maybe he should pick. He should pick. Well, if whoever he pick, he's probably gonna be the next president. So Tosi Gabbard and Ramaswamy might have to wait a little while. 
unless he picks Robert Swamy to be his vice president or Tosi Gabbard. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> hey, and you can't wait too long. Trump's son is getting big. <laughs> that boy getting he big. He might want to run for president. That boy getting tall, ain't he? <laughs> That, that boy, dude ball six that, six. That boy like six eight. And his name is Burn. <laughs> Burn Trump for president. You can't wait too long because Burn goes stepping <laughs> in for president. <laughs> Show's over.